another example now in this example we have a dependent source so how to solve this remember we had mentioned earlier that the circuit containing dependent source must be left intact so we will not touch this or we will not transform this rather we will only transform these two sources so let's take the first source so making the current source zero so we want to make the current source zero that means we cut open so our circuit will become like this so current source has been removed now this is the circuit we need to find vx so this is vx for this circuit it will now become vx1 and if we redraw this circuit so the vx is all voltage is at the top here 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 everywhere so if we draw it here or bring it here then we can clearly solve this by the nodal analysis method so one current going like this current i2 and current i3 and by uh, writing KCL equation at the node we can see that the current I1 and I3 are entering so I1 plus I3 equals I2 which is leaving from here we now convert the current in terms of voltage and resistance so I1 is going from 0 to Vx1 so 0 minus Vx1 this battery is also making current flow in the same direction so we'll add it so 0 minus Vx1 plus 10 divided by 20 and this current is given 0x Vx1 it should be Vx1 here so 0 1 Vx1 and I2 is Vx1 divided by 4 now we can multiply by the LCM 20 and by simplifying you get Vx1 to be 2.5 volt and Vx1 2.5 positive at the top and negative at the bottom so this is due to the voltage source now let's remove Oops. and use the current source so the voltage source has been shorted here now we'll uh, find out Vx2 by uh, due to this current source again uh, we can see that this can be solved by the nodal method top all points Vx2 so we write the nodal equation we can simplify we can redraw this uh, here so this is the simplified diagram and now we can see that I1 is leaving I have drawn it like this we may draw it other way as well 2 ampere current is entering I2 is leaving and I3 is entering so by KCL current entering is equal to current leaving and then uh, we write the in terms of voltage so 2 remains 2 I3 from here I3 is 0 1 Vx2 so 0 0.1 Vx2 and I1, I1 from here it is going from Vx2 to 0 so Vx2 minus 0 divided by 20 we don't write minus 0 and I2 is also Vx2 divided by 4 LCM 20 multiply by 20 and by solving we can find Vx2 to be 10 volt now again in this case also the top is positive and bottom negative so the simple Vx will be the simple addition of the two so Vx is Vx1 plus Vx2 2.5 volt in the previous slide we got and 10 volt in this slide so total 12.5 volt another example this looks little tricky but if you uh, do it carefully uh, it will become easy again this circuit has a dependent source so we will not touch the dependent source we will only take uh, care of the independent sources one at a time 
Okay, so in the first case we are making the voltage source zero. So this voltage source has been eliminated, shorted, and now we have three mesh. Mesh number one, mesh number two, and mesh number three. We need to find I naught. So I naught is the current flowing from here. For this circuit, it will be I naught. 1 or I naught dash, whatever you feel like writing. So here we have written I naught dash. Now writing the equations, sorry, the, the other option is that we keep the voltage source and cut open the current source. So this is the second circuit and this circuit now our I naught will become I naught double dash and we can you can see we have two mesh I4 and I5 so we'll write the KVL equation for this mesh also so see the next slide so this was the first one by shorting the voltage source we start from loop number one since the loop one has a current source so we'll not write KVL in this loop we'll write the current but the current source and the I have same direction so I1 should be equal to 4 ampere. Loop 2 we have to write the KVL equation so we are starting from here 3 ohms now since we are in loop 2 so I2 minus I1 so 3 ohms I2 minus I1 we come here 2 I2 so plus 2 I2 then we come here, this has a minus sign, so minus 5 I naught dash. And then in this 1 ohm resistor, we are coming here from here, so I2 is superior. So 1 multiplied by I2 minus I3. So this is the equation for loop number 2. We can simplify and take all the light terms together, so this is our second equation. Now coming to loop number 3. This is loop number 3. We are starting from here. So it is 5 I3 minus I1. So 5 I3 minus I1. Then we go here. So it is 1 I3 minus I2. 1 I3 minus I2. And this is plus 5 I I naught dash. So 5 I dot dash and 4 I3 equals 0. Again, we create the light terms. There is one problem, however, in this that in, uh, we are generally we need to find I1, I2, I3, but both these equations have I naught, I naught dash. So we have to uh, simplify. Uh, either we can eliminate I naught dash or we can uh, simplify we just uh, put the value of this here so we'll see the technique so from here you can see that I naught and I3 are entering at this point and I1 is leaving so we can at this node write an equation that I naught plus I3 is equal to I1 and from here you can find I3 in terms of I0. Now in the both the equations if we replace I3 and also I1 it will become easier to solve. So this is another way of doing but we could have also eliminated I0. So by substituting equation number 2 and 5 so this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 5 in equation 3 and 4, so in equation 3 and 4, we get these two results. And now we can eliminate to find I naught. So by elimination, you should be able to find I naught dash is equal to 52 over 17 ampere. So this was for the current source. Now let's see what do we get from the voltage okay now i will take the second circuit 
where we cut open the current source and uh, we only have now the voltage source and the dependence source which we will not touch and the current I naught has now been named as I naught double dash Now if we write the KV equation in loop 4 start from this corner so it is 3 I 4 we are in this loop so 3 I 4 plus 2 I 4 minus 5 I naught double dash and 1 I 4 minus I 5 and by simplifying we get equation number 9 similarly for the other loop loop number 5 starting from this point 5 I 5 so 5 I 5 here 1 I 5 minus I 4 since we are in loop number 5 so I 5 minus I 4 plus 5 I naught double dash I will write as it is then 4 I 5 4 I 5 and minus 20 equals 0 and by simplifying we get equation number 10 now if you look uh, the relation between I dot double dash and I5 we can see that they are in opposite direction I5 is going like this and I double dash is coming down and there is no other current therefore we will write I double dash is equal to minus I5 or I5 is equal to minus I not double dash now if we put this value of I5 into equation number 9 and equation number 10 so we will eliminate I5 in both cases and we will have now I4 and I0 uh, double dash terms in both the equations so 9 converts to 11 and 10 converts to 12 and now by uh, we can eliminate one of the term by the te techniques that you have learned multiplying this by 6 and then cancelling we can find I naught double dash to be negative 60 over 17. So by the two circuits we found I naught single dash and I naught double dash. In both cases the current are going down so we will add the two to find I naught. So I naught is equal to I naught single dash plus I naught double dash I naught single dash was 52 over 17 and I naught double dash is negative 60 over 17 so from here we get I naught to be point negative 0.47 